What's up everybody, it's Jonathan. Today I wanna to go over our combat drone report. So our combat drone trade idea, this was released about two weeks ago, maybe 18 days ago. I'll leave this report right under this video. So if you don't access, if you don't have this report, go access it right now. This trade is still live. I absolutely love this trade. I'm scrolling to the bottom because I want to talk about the trade. I want to talk about Katos. You can go through all the reasons for the trade. The, the major reason for the trade is just a huge government contract, a $2 billion defense company that specializes in combat drones, gets a $500 million contract from the U.S. Navy. It's probably a pretty good investment for us. So shared the report, Katos. It's also just a timely trade especially going to the election, especially because Katos had pulled back. So we shared three trades. I wanna go over each one of those trades. If you're not in this trade, I am bullish, bullish, bullish this entire sector, specifically Katos, but we're gonna go over five correlated names in this government contract defense technology sector. Whenever we're sharing ideas, it's one thing to have a story of the idea, the story of Katos, the story of attack drones, probably somewhere where we wanna be invested in the next 10 years or so, right? Unfortunately, one of the reasons, stocks don't like to hang around big numbers. Keep it simple, what's a big number? 100 period moving average, 200 period moving average? It's what everybody follows. Here's Katos going back 10 years. Stocks don't like to stay around big numbers, right? I think in the PDF we had it as a, as a weekly. So here we go. Stocks don't like to stay around big numbers. Here we get under. Now, big number doesn't necessarily mean bullish in all instances. Right now, this stock I'm very bullish on, but because it was right by a big number, that's what we want to get through. So in the document, that's what I said. Great, we want to buy. Stock was trading at 17. I said, let's buy up to 17.20. Stock dropped down to 16.76, 16.71. Got through the big number. This big number is going to prove to be support. So we want to follow this 18.23. This is definitely going to be our line in the sand. This is our big time support. Those not yet in may consider getting in with a stop under this big number. A sustained stop though, we gotta let it breathe, okay? These are, it's not an art form. We wanna be on the long side of Katos. Something to point out, which is even a stronger move over this key level, is you'll notice we gapped over that as well. So many of you follow gaps. Gaps are powerful, especially we don't clo close that gap strong 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 so that's the first chart with katos the second chart with katos is you know what it was just a really good time to buy why was it a good time to buy well katos pulling back let's open up a real time chart i'm using thicker swim right here and this is katos now what are these lines this is the expected move. This is the pricing of the options for the 30 days that options are trading. So market makers set this as the expected move. When the stock trades to the lower band or the upper band, because of optionality, there's forced trading around those levels. So for a stock to get through those levels, there needs to be significant volume, there needs to be a reason. Watch, if I take Katos and drop it to three years and we're on a daily, what's important is this number right here. Katos closes within its expected move 84% of the time going back three years. Cool. Maybe when it's outside of its expected move, there presents some really good trades. I bet there does. But here, 
it also presents an opportunity for us to get in. Here it held, rallied, then it sold off. It's just another reason to get into the trade. Always got to look at the competition. Looking at things through relative value. I picked five that are the most competitive, that are the most competitive by market cap, that all have government contracts. I called it the Advanced Military Technology Group. So we got Katos, B-A-E-S-Y, C-A-C-I, L-H-X, and Katos. Going back to 2019, they move together. It's a sector. Now, of course, there's little differences in contracts here and there, but how many of these advanced military technology groups have monster government contracts? Kato's just got a $500 million contract. They're trading together. Now, yes, the purple is a tad more volatile. Okay? Volatility right now is super low, but yeah, looking back, Kato's is more volatile. Good for option traders. Trade's expensive. Right here, something happened in 2022. I'm not a professional in this sector. I don't, you know, I, I probably got about 10 hours of research into this, writing the report, learning about it, but something happened in 2022. Something happened again in 2023. Kato sells off, LHX sells off. Well, Kato's is on the rebound. Something happened though, in the beginning of 24, that presented an opportunity right before Kato's got another contract. That's when we were able to get in. So that's the third reason. Not only do we have reasons from the special report, but these are the actual reasons to get into the trade. Because sometimes we might like a trade, but it's just not a good entry point. All right, check the PDF. Because when we shared this, RTX was the leader in market cap. But look right now. RTX lost that lead. BA takes it over. But notice, things change. This is only in one month. Katos in one month overtook AIR, overtook VSAT. VSAT, AIR, showing no mercy. AJRD, you're next. We're coming for you. Katos is taking market share from its competitors. Now let's get into the trade. Katos was shared 1704. The directions by Katos stock under 1720. I'm pretty confident in this sucker. I want to give everybody ample room. The next day, Katos trades down to 1671. Cool. Whoever wanted to get in, that trade's available for you. Great trade. But let's talk about the other two trades. Because when we get really bullish a stock, we'll have a special report. We've done a lot of research. We like the stock. Buy the stock. Buy for 1720. Buy March 20 calls. Mid market for 25 cents. Inexpensive out of the money options trade into the quarterly earnings. So March 20 strike, Katos, 25 cents, that's mid-market. Stock's getting a hit right now, a little bit. But those 20 strikes, 85 cents. They traded $1.11. So for traders that are able to get in Katos, not only buy the stock, patience, hold the stock. Katos can trade over 100. Who knows where this can trade? You buy the stock, but then when you buy those options, let's say you buy a 10 lot, $250 investment. Well, it traded up to 110 today, 111. That 250 is now worth $1,100. You could take it off. We'll use that extra money to finance the trade, to lock in profit, continue staying long, but that allows you to lock in profit while you're correct. The third trade, the third trade is interesting because you can do a couple of different things with the third trade. The third trade, you have lots and lots of time. 
The third trade we suggested getting in for $1.05. You have 149 days. Now you could do something that we call the free trade. The free trade is you buy these for $1.05, you place a limit order and you sell these for $1.05. That'd be a great trade. You could sell these for $1.05 or $1.35, but I don't like that. I think Hatos has plenty more room to go. You could put a limit order though for $1.05. Here's what happens and why it's called the free trade. If you're long from the 20s for $1.05, you buy one, it costs you $105. Well, if you sell one, you get a credit for $105. Your downside is now zero. Because what you did is you bought 100 shares at 20. You bought one option, which is 100 shares once it's in the money, but you also sold 100 shares at 25. You're long from 20, you're short from 25. The most you can lose is zero. Because you have a free trade, the most you can make is the difference between those strikes. If you do a one lot, that's $500. If you do a 10 lot, that's 5,000. So a couple of different ways to think about managing those Kato's trades. If you're interested in learning more, we have an active discussion about all of our trades in our Discord community especially Katos. My name is Jonathan Rose. I'm the owner of Masters in Trading.